It's a bright morning on the shores of the Atlantic in St James Village in Ghana. As usual, the fishermen are hard at work. 21-year-old Daniel Coffey is one of them. He and his brother Stephen seek out what's left of the precious fish stocks beneath the ocean's surface. Oh. The most common types of fish here are red snapper, tilapia and small sharks. Tilapia fetch the highest price. They chant and sing as they draw in their nets. The brothers believe that aside from distracting their minds from the heavy work, the singing lures the fish into the nets. Still, today's catch is not very impressive. They say the competition from foreign trawlers is unfair. The Chinese are a real problem. They explode bombs underwater and then catch all the fish. I know the Chinese people bring their boats here and lay their nets, but I can't get another job. Fishing is my only option. Back on shore, the daily catch is either sold fresh or dried in the sun. Fish is an important source of protein for many Ghanaians. And fishing is an important part of the economy. More than 8% of the population are employed in the industry. But the catches are shrinking. One reason is the adherence to traditional fishing methods. Economic analyst Sidney Casely Hayford believes fish farming could be one of the solutions. I think people are taking advantage of fish farming. I think there's a lot there's a lot of uh, tilapia farms coming up and the beauty of it is that they're not using they're not offshore they are using them in the lake and just building containers around them then using that to breed and i can see a lot more uh, of that happening the problem in ghana and many other countries is that many fishermen don't have any alternative for Stephen and his brother Daniel, that means they'll have to continue looking to the sea for their income, despite the challenges. <laughs> 